So it was designed on the school within a school's concept. I don't yeah. know if you've heard yeah. Dr. Weinberg. So when a child got their assignment letter in fourth grade and said they're in yellow first floor, yellow first floor, they will finish fifth grade. They'll do fifth grade there and sixth grade. They're going to stay in that. So they're going to stay with the same hundred students for the next three years. So it won't be this big overwhelming 500 kids in their grade and 1,450 in the school. Each wing has its own community principal. And then this is really considered the core. So this is where the library, the auditorium, the gym, and the cafeteria are. The, the classrooms were designed that there were five classrooms on a team. So four of them will be used by the regular education and there will be learning support, ELL, different kinds of teachers using that fifth one. On every pod, per se, are two small group instruction rooms that they can be used for small groups, makeup testing, whatever. And the other thing that all of these areas share is a common area called, um, it's just called the commons area. So it can be used for large group team rooms or it can be used, um, also we have our computers housed here. If you know that today I want the soup and the salad that's in the deli line, then you're going to enter these doors and go into that line. And then the, the middle one is for the main, whatever the main entree is. So there's two lines serving the main entree. We have these kiosks. There's three kiosks. You can see they're color coordinated. So each morning we have staff who will wheel these kiosks out with a grab and go breakfast. So on the second floor of the Red Wing, we're opening that. There's our three health classrooms over there, and then the kids don't even know it yet. Um, but we do have a big surprise in for them in one of the rooms, so I'm not even going to say it yet. But there's a nice big surprise for them coming in one of those rooms over there. <laughs>